Hey, so we're just getting back in town from New York. Me and hubby went to New York for a business trip and just extended his business trip so we could get in some us time, which was really great. The kids went to Virginia Beach with the grandparents. And so we're back home together and we had such a good time. We ate a lot of good food. We ate out a lot. <laughs> so this week, I know we're about to go into a busy week. I wanted to make sure that we are eating healthier foods because we enjoyed eating out. But also, you know, try to stack up our coins again by not eating out when we know we're going to have a busy week. So just trying to set my family up to win. So today is a little bit different video. I wanted to share a uh, refrigerator organization after I've meal prepped. So you can see what I have and how I store things for us to be able to grab things ready for the week. So I haven't done meal prepping in a little bit. I'm pretty good about meal planning and sticking with that. But when weeks get crazy, I end up having to freeze things or better yet, waste food. And I really hate doing that. So this week, again, knowing that it's about to be a busy week, starting up with co-op and field trips and all that fun stuff, I wanted to set us up to win. So let me show you what's in the fridge. So I'm just going to start at the top. I do have an egg container that I like to store them in. It just makes it easier to see how many eggs we have left. Now, I don't really eat a lot of eggs, but my husband will fry an egg after the gym. And if my kids are baking, they'll bake, you know, their treats with the eggs. I do also make some egg muffins that my family likes to eat. So we'll do that with some plant-based butter um, I have there. And then I've got a little rice. So we are day two into this <laughs> food. So we've already eaten some of the rice and eaten one of the, uh, a couple of the meals. And I've got some chopped up scallions here, some sweet potatoes that are cubed and ready to uh, roast for breakfast. I just kind of wanted that to be fresh for me for breakfast. I've got a tomato based mushroom sauce to go on top of some spaghetti squash, which I will roast fresh. Got some cilantro and some fresh squeezed orange juice here. And um, these two mason jars, which have tomatoes, celery, and spinach to make a spinach soup back here i've already sliced up some sweet potatoes to make some sweet potato chips and a guac for a snack one day got some extra chicken broth right here and some elderberry syrup that we're taking i actually made this i have a reel on um, the product that i use i'll share that if you're interested but we're taking a spoonful of that a tablespoon of that every day and if we come in contact with people who are sick or like we're just getting back in town we're doing two or three tablespoons of that elderberry syrup. So moving down, we have some almond milk here. We've got some coconut, um, what is it, whipped cream spray for hot chocolate. And then in the back, I do have a little more milk for I've reserve, almond milk I've reserved for baking. I've got some coconut water and some creamer and like a tiny bit of orange juice in the back for smoothies. I try not to ask the boys not to drink a lot of juice. Um, but sometimes that is just a little bit more convenient to have on hand for smoothies. Moving over here, we have spinach and then we have a spring mix and that just makes for easy grab for lunch or to add to something for dinner or even a snack. And then I have these two, which are kind of like our salad bar trays. So we've got right now carrots and some sweet onions and jalapenos. I like to throw on my salad. Sometimes I'll have um, things like mushrooms or other just chopped up things over here but I didn't put anything here this week but just I'll let that live in the fridge and that's easy to throw in our salads and then I make them sometimes and then we have a few other salad dressings up here that my family really likes um, along with some seeds and nuts to throw on top of the salad so let me breathe <laughs> and continue on here I have celery I've been juicing my celery again in the morning a lot of the recipes that uh, I chose to go with this week are from the medical medium and I can share more about that if you're interested or link uh, the book that I got the recipes from and then in here so that's just celery sometimes I'll go ahead and wash it sometimes I will leave it so I've already gone through this drawer I did have half of it was full of celery and had already washed that so it was ready for a few days I'll go ahead and wash this today and get that ready for the next few days. 
So in this drawer, I have some ginger in this bag. I've got some avocado. These are a little squishy, so I went ahead to put them in here to keep a little bit longer. And they're gonna go with our sweet potato chips, make some fresh guac. And then I will use some of these peppers from our garden. In the guac, we really like things spicy. I actually pickled some of these earlier this year and they were so good. I wish I had more, but I'll just be using these um, in salads and different things this week. So they don't go to waste. And then in the bottom, I have sauces like mustards and um, mayo and things like that. I try not to grab that stuff often and I don't want my family to either. So it's kind of pushed back there from when we need it. Uh, we don't go through a ton of them, but so I'll buy them small so that we don't waste them either. And then I'll either make or purchase hummus, salsa and guac and just have that ready to go here because they come in such awkward sized containers. Like I made this guac and salsa, but I didn't make the hummus or the caramel. Um, so I just will kind of, I guess, decanter some of those into my mason jars and they last longer that way. So moving on, we've already, like I said, eaten some of these things. These are some blueberry muffins back there. Have some egg bites. I did have three rows of those. I've got some cornbread already back there that will see my camera's kind of getting up focus that will just pop into the toaster oven got some mashed potatoes we've already eaten off of i've prepped eight protein bowls they've got chickpeas and sweet potatoes and brussels sprouts rice chicken got some chicken that's marinating there i just pulled out and this is a um, coconut creamy based vegetable soup we've already eaten one mason jar and have half of it left so we'll hold on to that uh, for someone to grab probably me for lunch one day and then i've got some cut up cucumbers here that we'll eat with salsa hummus and guac some peppers sweet peppers we like to snack on again with the hummus salsa or guac and then i try to drink a lot of lemon and lime water we've got some cuties for quick snacks some oranges apples some mango i went ahead and chopped that up I find that if I go ahead and do that with certain fruits, it's just easier to eat them and make sure that they don't go to waste. Some applesauce, I usually use these um, for snacks and to bake with. We've got some grapes and blueberries. And then over here, I've got things that we cook with like garlic and um, tomato paste and things like that. So that is what is in my fridge. We are ready for the week. We've been ready. This has been so helpful. We've had two busy days already and I just took that other chicken out of the freezer. So letting that um, thaw and we will make that for lunch tomorrow. So I hope that this was helpful. I usually find these videos helpful and encouraging to meal prep and set my family and myself up to win to make healthy choices. And it's been helpful. So I thought I'd share. If you found it helpful, consider subscribing, give this video a like and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.